All right guys, so today's video is gonna be a bit more rough. Anyway, over here is my PC rig. And as you can see inside of it, there is no CPU installed right now. And this is because I have sold my i5-4690K. Now, if you're asking what am I gonna replace it with, well, over here I have an i7-4790K. As you can see, hopefully it's focusing on it. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be installing it inside of my PC and then I'll be overclocking it and then benchmarking it and showing you the differences between the i7-4790K and the i5-4690K. Alright guys, so now I'm going to install the new CPU. Now as you can see over here, my socket has got a plastic cover over it. This is just because I wanted to make sure the pins wouldn't bend whilst I was waiting for the i7. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is just remove the plastic cover. There you go, and there's the socket. So now I'm just going to install the i7. Alright guys, so I have the CPU installed and the CPU cooler installed as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the PC over, I'm going to plug it in and power it on and see if it works. Alright guys, so I've turned on the PC and everything seems to be working. So as you can see in the box it says i7 4790K, so the CPU is detected. Currently it says 4GHz because the CPU is running at stock and I have got all the settings on stock. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot into Windows and I'm going to stress test it to make sure everything is running stable and then I'm going to overclock it. Alright guys, so the CPU is all stable, there has been no crashes, so what we're going to do now is we're going to overclock it. Alright guys, so I have settled in at 4.5 GHz as you can see over here. Now the voltage I'm using right now is 1.24 volts. In order for me to get to 4.6 GHz, I would have to use 1.324 volts to get that stable. And because I have a Hyper True 12, the temperatures would jump up to around 91 degrees peak, which is slightly above my uh, comfort zone. So what I've done is I've dialed it back to 4.5 GHz and I was capable of lowering the voltage to 1.24 volts, which lowered the load temps to around 78C. So that's around the comfort zone that you should stay at. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the comparisons between the i5-4690K and the i7-4790K. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you Dripping lights Paint the skies
Alright guys, so as you saw in the comparisons of improvement, in gaming isn't so drastic, but when it comes to things that are multi-core intensive and CPU intensive, the improvement is much much bigger. Now I haven't really recorded any rendering or editing videos for the comparison, but what I can tell you is in Vegas Pro 14 right now whilst editing this video, the playback is much much smoother than on the i5, and at the same time rendering times have dropped by quite a bit. Anyway that's it for the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time, peace out.